about John Schneider. Fans booed him and then also hitting coach Guillermo Martinez during the home opener intros last week. And there's a lot of angst towards Schneider. And do you think it's justified at all? Like, do you think that this is just people looking for something to be mad about because it's easy or why is it that John Schneider has caught so much ire of the fan base? Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, he has to make the decisions, right? So he has to kind of wear them. I get that. Um, I, I, you know, I don't think it's justified, but it's just also like the nature of the business, nature of the job. Right. So I, 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 uh, you know, I would not be among the people who were booing him. The Guillermo Martinez thing, I think, is completely different because that's just absurd and that's just people not understanding how hitting coaches work. Like, it's just a little league conception of what a hitting coach does. It's like that's not how major league hitting coaches function and it's not at all his fault, but he has that title and so people are just booing the title. And people are also, I think, in a lot of ways booing uh, them because Ross Atkins isn't there to be booed, right? He's not walking out on the field. But yeah, the, the Schneider thing, you know, I like 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 any manager. There's lots of decisions that you could question with his. Uh, I think fans are are generally unfair, and I think are generally uh, it's too easy for them to think, oh, he made this dumb decision last week, and then this decision is dumb, and I'm convinced that this is dumb, and that's dumb, and that's dumb, and then so he's dumb, and so he's just everything. You know, it just it, it makes the instinct to be. Uh, thinking the worst of him at all times when if you actually go back and go like in a granular way through which I did in a post at the bat for uh, last night uh, this morning um, you know if you go in a granular way you can see that there's a lot of logic to what he's doing and there's a lot of ways that his hands are tied that people aren't appreciating um, but I guess that's just the nature of the thing and you know people hated Charlie Montoyo uh, for a very long time and, and thought the same things about him people thought the same things about John Gibbons in both tenures until the team got good I think there's a lesson there I think that that's sort of what this stuff is all about you know I can't tell anybody to uh, think differently than they do about Schneider like you don't have to like Schneider and I can't convince anybody to like him but also I mean it's just it, it one it's annoying and two it's it, you would save yourself a lot of grief and, and wasted energy if you just sort of took a step back and thought a little bit more about how the game of baseball in the year 2024 actually functions and what a manager's how many what levers he actually has to pull uh and, and you know i think you find that the things that he does that that are egregiously bad are much less in number than than a lot of people realize you know he couldn't use Jordan Romano last night. They didn't want him used. He couldn't use Yumi Garcia. You know, they, they, like that that changes the nature. He couldn't use Chad Green, which I think was the big one too, which people didn't understand until after the game that he had sol shoulder soreness. So, you know, when when you have those constraints and not and aren't but aren't thinking about them, yeah, when Eric Swanson comes out to try to save a game and when Tim Mays is the next guy up and he stays in, you know, the, that that doesn't compute to people. I completely understand that. But I think that if you actually look at what was actually going on, if you're actually interested in being fair to John Schneider, uh, I think he doesn't look nearly as bad as uh, a lot of the outrage would suggest. Yeah, that's probably reasonable. I mean, I, I have a sort of a running theory here where I think that specifically Blue Jays fans are mad about the manager because a lot of the fans within those who pay attention to the Blue Jays are also fans of hockey and I think that <laughs> there is a lot more agency I guess that a hockey coach might have over the results of their team and I think people expect John Schneider to be there smacking everybody on the ass and getting them fired up for a game against the Yankees and they come and bear down and get it right. I kind of wonder if that's sort of it but you also mentioned people are probably also just pissed at Ross Atkins or Mark Shapiro or the front office in general, whoever it is, and then whether it's Schneider or the hitting coach, Mattingly, whoever, they kind of take a lot of the they 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 take a lot of the brunt of that. Thanks for tuning in to Blue Jays Nation Radio. Don't forget to like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts from to never miss an episode.